Here's what to expect when you run the code in this LabVIEW project. Looking at the Home Security System application and RT Main. We have internal display of the various queued state machines and then we have the user interface. It has the mode of the system, a timer display, keypad entry, some indicators, and some virtual sensors. The ARM disarm code is 123. Now in the middle we have uh, various displays of the queued state machine behavior. We have the state displays, the process loop iterations, and then the data highway displays for each queued state machine. I'd like to draw your attention specifically to the code validator queued state machine. We'll be looking at its state the number of loop iterations, which is basically an activity indicator, and then the variables on the data highway. All right, let's get, get this running. Here we see the variables have been set to their initial values. And the very first state besides initialize has been enqueued. This is the get code state. And note that this state regenerates itself in order to pull the input device, that is the keypad. Some of the other queued state machines are not indicating new activity. That means they are waiting for a message to direct further activity. Let's consider these specific variables. First thing is if you wait too long, you'll see that the time remaining times out, passes through zero, and then the state machine resets itself. An incorrect code means start over. And take a closer look at the state presently in get code. I'll enter an incorrect code. And if you look carefully, you see that it passes through the initialized state and then we're back to get code. Let's take a look at the key press indicator. You'll notice that that blinks each time you press a key. So the queued state machine for the validator sends a message to the buzzer queued state machine each key press. Take a look at the system manager state. I've just entered a valid code and we see the system manager has now gone to its armed state. Finally, let's take a look at all of the states. And when you do a manual stop, you see that the air handler sends a shutdown message to every one of the queued state machines in the system.